Hey guys, today we've decided to try out Ubuntu Touch on the Pine Phone. So th this is instead of the default Manjaro with Plasma. Now it, it actually works pretty well, which is kind of what we expected, but it's not perfect. It's not super responsive, but it's much better than Manjaro with Plasma. Um, it still has an issue that causes it to freeze up and not wake up when it actually goes to sleep. So I find myself having to constantly reboot the phone. I actually couldn't get it to work in, in docked mode, which I was pretty surprised about. Um, I was kind of expecting it to work actually better in, in docked mode than Manjaro did. So anyways, the other thing that was a little bit um, troubling is is that I couldn't figure out how to get the escape button to work on the on-screen keyboard. I'm sure there's, there's something I'm missing with that, but that made it hard to work with Vim on the terminal. So if I wanted to just edit like Python scripts or whatever you want to do, um, from the command line if you didn't want to deal with an app or something or, or whatever whatever else you installed you can install like generally native apps that you could normally get on Ubuntu or or, or whatever else you could install Kate or gedit or whatever but um yeah, yeah basically um yeah if, if you want to use vim it, it makes it harder you can't hit escape and switch modes and stuff so that that was kind of a little bit of a disappointment or, or frustration um, probably something that's fixable. I also wasn't able to get uh, USB storage working, which was also kind of disappointing, but not, not a huge big deal. I, I guess it is if you want to use it as a desktop replacement. And that kind of is a big feature, which I, I actually able, was able to get that to work on both um, Android and, um, and and on iOS. So it's, it's kind of surprising that a, a, a you know, Linux or Ubuntu-based system wouldn't you know be able to easily use USB storage. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just wasn't able to figure it out. I, I, at least in the time that I spent on it. Um, and yeah, so that that's pretty much a um, quick overview of what, what we've done. Now, I'm gonna, f before we actually show you much about the phone, we're going to quick just jump into how to download it and, and install it using an SD card. So let's take a quick look at that right now. All right, so basically what I'm doing here is um, I'm downloading Ubuntu Touch and Etcher. I'm going to use Etcher to actually write the Ubuntu Touch image to the SD card, and before I do that, I'm going to unzip. Um, I'm going to unzip Ubuntu Touch. It's an XZ file, so we use the XZ command. You're going to see me uh, fumble around with the command line a bit. Eventually, I'm going to unpack it, um, and then I'm going to write it to the SD card, which is super simple. You just select the SD card, you select the image, and you say write, and it just writes it. It's as simple as that. So um, I fumble around with it. It's a little bit of a pain to watch me do this, but um, anyways, you could just skip past it if it seems too straightforward or if you just don't feel like watching me do that. So I'm also going to go over, um, you, you're going to see in just a, a minute, I'm going to actually show you after writing the SD card, I'm going to show you how we open up the back and actually install the SD card into the Pine phone. It's pretty straightforward, but we're, we're just going to demo that. If that's something you'd like to see, just keep on watching. And um, I'm going to basically demo all the stuff we basically already covered, so um, there's not a whole lot of point in just walking through it. So I'm basically just going to leave the rest of this video as a demo. You can watch and see the details of what I'm doing, but this is about as far as this video is going in terms of, uh, and this is about as far as I'm going to record the audio for this video. And um, that's pretty much it for the rest of this video. So. Um, I mean, keep watching for more details on what I did with the phone, and if all, all the stuff we, sh we showed you at the beginning is, is the kind of stuff, um, you know, you want to see me actually go through slowly, step at a time, you know, keep on watching, and we're going to cover all this stuff. And you you kind of get a, an idea of what I was able to do with Ubuntu Touch versus Manjaro, and um, <clears throat> do stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to try to maybe install a couple more OS's on this phone. I'm going to probably attempt Raspbian and probably NetBSD and see how they work. That's plans for the future, so, um, you know, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit the little bell icon, you know, always just leave a comment down below. We want to know what you think, um, you know, comments, questions, criticisms, whatever. But yeah, definitely keep watching because this video is uh, not even close to being done. So, you know, um, yeah, just watch me go through the rest of the testing and stuff, get a feel for how Ubuntu Touch is. But that's pretty much all I was going to talk about today. So now just, you know, keep on watching, I guess. Thanks, guys.